Hey everyone, Terry here. Today I thought we would talk a bit about the sets and props of So Soon the Dark. As I've said before, I didn't have much of a budget for the film. Uh, it was done very cheaply. I didn't have a dollar amount in mind or a hard cap or anything. I just tried at every stage to spend as little as possible, but still come up with something that looked as good as I felt it needed to. Uh, one thing I had working in my favor was the idea that this world I was creating was supposed to be dying. It was supposed to be falling apart to a degree. Uh, and so the technology, the environments, etc. needed to look a bit worn, a bit run down. And that played nicely with the idea that I was doing this all as cheaply as possible. It probably would have been a lot more expensive to create a slick, shiny, brand new, super high-tech looking world here. I had a fairly clear idea, sort of a general idea, of how I wanted the sets to appear in the early stages of designing the look for the film. I knew I wanted a bright, stark white room for William, and a very deep, dark red look to the room for the robot, and the hallway, which initially was a much bigger part of the film, but ended up being whittled down to basically one shot. The hallway needed to be suitably dark and smoky and kind of utilitarian, almost like a utility access tunnel on a spaceship or something. But beyond all that, I didn't really have any idea how I was going to dress the set to give the illusion of it being a future medical facility. So as is often the case, uh, I went to Home Depot and filled up a cart, Roof vents, rain spouts, electrical boxes, PVC pipe fittings, metal conduit, gutter guards. Uh, these vertical light strips you see running up and down the back corners of the set were just cheap LED light strips stuck to the wall. And then I covered it with the front edge of a section of gutter guard, plastic gutter guards. And I just cut away the wide flat part and made a lighthousing out of it and then just stapled that to the wall. I bought a bunch of old portable televisions and old tablet computers on eBay and then took them apart, pulling out the guts when I could and spray painting them, gluing little electronic parts to them, etc. to sort of hide their true form. The tablets were especially clutch uh, as it allowed me to make custom graphics in Resolve and then play them back on the tablet, which was killer. So even though you don't really ever get a good look at it in the film, <laughs> those screens all have custom made diagnostic sequences going on. The machine that William uses to interface with the robots was made from a couple of these old TVs wired together and a tablet playing back a sort of diagnostic sequence that I animated in Resolve. Um, man, I had to animate that thing one fucking letter at a time because I couldn't find a program or a plugin that would give me the look of text scrolling across the screen like that in that very 80s sci-fi movie sort of way. Um, I did it the hard way, basically. And it's kind of a shame that it doesn't end up being a little more prominent in the film, but when I got into the edit, I realized that it just wasn't very important and it was one of the first things that had to go. All of this stuff was wired to AC power that was outside the set. That way I could leave everything on for long periods of time without worrying about batteries dying or anything like that. The robot room was the same set as William's room, but dressed differently to hopefully sell the idea that it's supposed to be a separate place. Uh, this is one area where time and budget really were not on my side. Uh, this was pretty late in production and it was getting warmer outside, which made shooting in that robot suit a real problem. Uh, and it was only gonna get worse. So I knew that if I took a couple of weeks to build a whole new set for the robot room, I'd be sweating to death when I got around actually shooting all that stuff. Not to mention all the extra money it would have cost to completely tear down and rebuild a set. So I elected to use the same set over again and just change around what I could to make it seem as different as possible. The hallway scene was shot behind the main set. So on the left is the back wall of the set, and on the right we have the garage door. And that's literally all that is. I saved this sequence for last so that I could use whatever I wanted from the main set to help hide the fact that this was just a garage door over here and the backside of some eight foot flats. I did shoot the crap out of pretty much every setup, so I had a lot to play with. I just shot a ton of footage. But anyway, that's a bit about the props and the sets of So Soon in the Dark. If you'd like to hear more about it, uh, leave a comment or hit me up on Twitter and we'll talk. Okay? Thanks, guys. Take care.